And Migrant Earth Prime one. is not a thing. And it's Migrant not, Prime is not, not a thing. thing. Boom! Welcome to Joe Biden's America, boys, where every single migrant or newcomer, if you will, don't say illegal alien, racist, you'll be under arrest, is bringing not only cultural enrichment, but a bunch of benefits that we could all coast off of because, of course, migrants don't commit crimes, boys. Oh, really? Really? That's a real stupid fucking thing to say, considering the, the, the first thing they do when they get here is, oh, they've committed a crime. They've broken into this place. Actually... From all these people who uh, are totally fine with carjackings, rapes, and murders, and their Democrat-run shitholes with poop all over the fucking sidewalk, actually, right, seeking asylum, being a refugee, is not illegal. It is when you don't come through a port of entry. I mean, for fuck's sake, you guys through color of bullshit law have made it legal to break into this country as long as you scream refugee or asylum seeker, and and you've inundated us with, with millions of these people, and you've hamstrung the court, so... By the time these people ever show up to court, when if they do, by the way, because 90% won't even bother showing up to court, and there's no enforcement to go catch them. If they ever do show up to court 10 years from now, you'll find out that, they, surprise, they don't qualify for refugee status or asylum status. Surprise. But again, they, they are trying to flood the zone, overpower us, and then gaslight everybody. Well, no, listen, they don't commit any crimes. Okay, well, again, every day, every day, we're doing a story about how uh, a woman's been raped, murdered, killed, shot, or and it's all fucking illegals doing this. And then Jen Psaki, MSNBC, and these other districts go, racism, racism, actually, migrants don't commit any crimes. Actually, migrants commit far less crimes than American citizens. No, they don't. No, they don't. You guys are conflating migrants and illegal aliens. And, and, and you guys are looking at the statistics of, of law-abiding legal immigrants. Yeah, law-abiding legal immigrants don't commit crimes. Law-abiding legal immigrants spend years and years and years and tens of thousands of dollars to get into this country legally. They wait in line. I mean, they're going to fuck it up by looting an Arby's, you idiots. And so they conflate the two. Uh, the people that are breaking into the country are not law-abiding immigrants. And here you go, Infowars. Eight suspected illegals found squatting. That's a crime. No, actually, it's not a crime. Fuck you. Again, Democrats don't have houses, so they don't care that people are breaking into other people's houses. Eight suspected illegals found squatting with guns. You care about that, idiots? Don't worry, they're rainbow guns. And drugs in Bronx home. Seven-year-old found in the basement. Is this Joe Biden's house? Found a seven-year-old in the basement. It's probably too old for Joe Biden. Seven-year-olds could run. <laughs> seven-year-olds could escape from Joe Biden's basement. So maybe it's AOC's boyfriend's basement. Allegedly, of course. Wait, you see that fucking dude? Shaped like a fucking sack of milk. Uh, anyway, uh, is this fine, AOC? Huh? AOC from the Bronx? AOC from the Bronx? You got a bunch of illegal aliens stealing people's houses, hoarding guns and drugs, and small children in the basement. No? No? The, actually, none of those are law. Brian, break it. It sounds like this. Rico's not, uh, Rico's not a law. <laughs> Rico's not a crime. <laughs> Rico's a, yeah, I fucked all that up. Don't worry about it. But yeah, no, okay. <laughs> You're supposed to keep turning a blind eye to this because these dipshits on MSNBC say, no, every single person that breaks into this place is a great person. No, they're breaking into the place. Police arrested several suspected illegal aliens found squatting with guns and drugs in a Bronx home. They've got a 24-year-old Hector de Souza Villates, who's believed to be from Venezuela, into a home on Hull Avenue after receiving a call about a man with a gun just outside the nearby school. When they showed up, they found uh, seven other illegals, one of which tried to flee with a weapon but was quickly arrested, only to be released, by the way. Only to, th This person will be released. It's a Democrat-run shithole with a George Soros district attorney. <laughs> this is all fine. According to the neighbors, the owner of the home had been trying to evict the squatters for months. For months. And you've got places like TikTok and all these other uh, these uh, social media platforms that are amplifying people telling other people how to break into people's houses and how to squat them and exploit these uh, real dumb, stupid lefty laws where they make it legal to steal people's fucking houses. Fucking criminals, man. And then they go, but there's no crime. There's no crime. It's it's legal to steal people's houses in Democrat-run shills. It's fucking insane. So here you go. They're trafficking drugs. They're trafficking other illegal aliens. And God knows how many other kids are trafficking through that basement. And this is happening in AOC's backyard. This is AOC's district. AOC's fine with this. These other Democrat-run shitholes are seeing more of this. And then they go on their uh, media outlets and say, well, there's no crime. Clearly there's crime. Holy shit, man. God help that kid. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. Support channel. We kept up to date on squatters.
from Venezuela with small children and drugs and guns in the basement. But don't worry, it's totally fine. Let's go after those law abiding citizens' guns. What? Oh, fuck you. Hit that subscribe button and make white. Because the salt must flow. Thank <laughs> you.